everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. For Valentine's Day, I'll be celebrating with my wife by giving her some nice flowers and candy. Lauren and I are going to the movies for Valentine's Day. I'm going to sit on my couch and be lazy. Maya and I are going out to eat. I'm going to get her a box of chocolate. I'm going to hang out with Jacob. I'm going to video chat with my girlfriend. Maddie and I, we're probably just going to spend time with each other. I am going to hang out with Julia. Gabe and I are going out to eat for Valentine's Day. Good morning, Harbor Creek. It's time for your daily announcements. Be sure to get your Valentina flower for Valentine's Day. They will be sold Monday and Tuesday in the library and delivered on Wednesday. Please make sure you know their schedule so that your flower will be delivered to your Valentine. Jastins will be here today during both lunches to pick up class ring orders. There will be a blood drive tomorrow, February 14th. Sign-ups are in the office. See Ms. Hawkins with any questions. Any students interested in taking AP exams should sign up in the guidance office with Ms. Oaks no later than March 23rd. The cost is $94 per exam. If you're interested in playing lacrosse this spring, pick up your registration form in the athletic office. There's lacrosse conditioning in open gym Mondays and Wednesdays 6 to 8 and Sundays 2 to 3.30. Anyone interested in joining the boys golf team, there will be a short informational meeting on February 15th at 3 o'clock in Coach Hilardis' classroom. Please make sure to check the list outside the cafeteria or Mr. Renner's room to see if the yearbook has received your picture. They currently are still missing about 60 pictures. You may send them to the yearbook at yearbook yearbook at harpercreek.net. The GSA Club will be hosting a guest speaker on Wednesday, February 21st from 3 to 4. Mike Hanna will talk about his life struggle being gay. This also counts for senior hours. We welcome everyone. This is Heather and this is Hope. Have, Have a great, great Valentine's, Valentine's Day tomorrow. tomorrow. I'm Jackson and I'm Joey and, and welcome, welcome to Beaver, Beaver Sports, Sports Live. Live. And today we're going to kick things off with a sport we haven't covered all year yet, competitive cheer. And we're here to talk to the coach to see what's been going on. Hi, I'm Coach Davis and I'm here to talk about competitive cheer. Many of you have wondered over the years, what is competitive cheer and am I interested? Well, competitive cheer is consisted of three rounds. The first round is the round where everything looks a lot different, but it's mostly cheer style. And you may have some jumps included in there, but the cheerleaders are doing a lot of different things and it's very choreographed. Round two is the round where everything is exactly the same and the girls perform in unison and we add a little bit of the gymnastic skills in there as well. Round three is the girls' favorite round. In round three, we perform a lot of stunts and they show off their tumbling skills such as back walkovers, back handsprings, and back tucks. We're always looking for more people who have had gymnastics background to come out in future seasons. This weekend we perform at districts in Matawan, so if you see any of the girls in the hallway, wish them luck. We thank you for your support. Hi, Harbor Creek students. I'm Coach Dave Studer. I'm the head wrestling coach at Harper Creek and I have been for the past 51 years. I'd like to tell you a little bit about our season. We're having a very successful season. We've won 13 matches already. We won first place at a Hillsdale Invitational that we've never won before. And then we went to Gull Lake and won the Gull Lake Invitational that we've never won before. So the kids are really achieving well this season. Uh, we've started to try to develop the mindset on how aggressive we're going to be on the mat and it's proven to be very successful for us. We're a young team, we only have three seniors on the squad, but everybody on that team from freshmen to the seniors all put a lot of time and hard work into it. They give up their Saturdays, they give up their weekends, and they gave up a lot of their Christmas vacation to prepare for meets during the season. Uh, I'm real proud of them. Uh, we are great sportsmen, we have good leadership from our seniors, and we really enjoyed representing Harper Creek this last year. I, I'm real happy about our win on Thursday night in the districts. We look forward to going to the regional meet down in Coldwater tomorrow night, and our young individuals are going through to wrestling this Saturday at the regional championships in Vicksburg. Uh, I'd like to thank the young men for all the effort they put forth this season and what a good job they've done. Thank you. 
Thanks for that, Coach Tudor. You're a true Harper Creek legend. And good luck to all the boys who are still competing this year in this wrestling season. Now moving on to some basketball action. There's games going on tonight. The girls are taking on Jackson Lumen Christie home, and the boys are at Lumen Christie. Come and support either one. Good luck to both teams. And now we have a little Olympic update for you guys. The United States has four medals in total right now. The first gold medal was taken home by 17-year-old snowboarding phenom Red Gerard. It was insane, and he clutched it on his very last run. So if you haven't tuned into the Olympics, tune in soon because it's an excellent event and super fun to watch. I'm Jackson. And I'm Joey. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This is Mr. Rio, and I'm with Jake Kershaw uh, from Marshall High School, who's got his own blues band. And tonight he had a concert here at the Frank Center in Marshall. That was fantastic. Great job, Jake. Thank I really you. enjoyed your show. Appreciate it. And Jake visited us at Harper Creek two years ago and came to one of our guitar club and jammed with uh, some of our students. And Jake, you've come a long way since then. Can you fill us in on what you've been doing the last two I years? I guess I have. I've, I've gotten a lot of endorsements from Heritage Guitars to uh, Lizard Spit, which is a guitar care product company. And I've played uh, for a lot more people and a lot of bigger venues. And it's just, it's going really good for me. So yeah. And tell us about your CD. Uh, CD was released last year, I think during August. I got it during my band camp stay. And uh, it's got five originals and two covers on it, and you should go check it out on iTunes. And uh, I don't think it's on Spotify, but it's on Amazon and uh, Google Play. So okay. check it out there. What, how old were you when you started, and how long have you been playing? I, mean, uh, I started when I was about, I'll say, nine years old. I've been playing ever since this probably uh, eight or nine years now. Now, now as, as you visit, visited before, we have a guitar club at Harbor Creek. If Stuart is starting out in guitar, what maybe a couple tips do you got if they want to make some good progress? Um, Play what you want. I would I would say that's the most important thing, and and learn your own technique. I mean, if, if your technique is terrible, you'll know it. But mm -hmm. but but do what you need to do to make it better, and listen to other guitarists, and try to try to, to learn how they do it. I guess to make yourself sound better, and you'll pick up different skills along the way. So do what you want, and and, and just listen to other people. Now, beside guitar, I know you're in the Marshall band. What yes. do you play in there? I play the euphonium. Okay, now do you find the training and your music background you get playing in a band uh, helps at least somewhat? It does, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know a lot about like the one, four, and five chords is a big prominent progression in blues. And I've learned a lot about that in symphonic band. Just it teaches you about everything music and then you can pinpoint stuff in your music and make it better for the people. And, and, and for the students who may not know exactly, you got your own band that tours and plays big shows. What's a couple of the highlights you got coming up this year? We just played Delta Plus, I think, last summer, which is in front of about 3,000 people. And we just recently played the Michigan, or the, I'm sorry, the Kalamazoo Theater, which is about, um, probably about 1,500, 2,000 people there. I, don't, I can't remember some of the bigger Beach ones. Boys. Beach Boys. Yeah, Beach Boys. <laughs> Man, I'm forgetting a ton of those. Beach Boys, they're playing for the Beach Boys, and then uh, we got a couple other big ones that we can't really say right now, but uh, should but, have a huge audiences. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. Well, great job, Jake. Good luck with everything. And I uh, hope we get you back over to Harper Creek to jam with some of our students again. Yeah, I'll do that. For sure. Okay. Well, thank you. Awesome. Nice, thank nice you. Nice to see you. Appreciate it. Nice to see you. Make sure to stop by the library uh, during 1st, 2nd, 4th, and 5th block and outside the cafeteria today and tomorrow to buy a flower for your friend or Valentine for a dollar a piece. They'll be delivered on Valentine's Day by our student council. Thanks so much.